Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we're going to continue on looking at banks and their full credit card catalog, this time focusing on Fidelity. Now yes, Fidelity is more of a wealth management type company, but you know, they do have a credit card as well. And even if you've seen this one before, stay around to the end because if, especially if you work with Fidelity, you know, there is a way to potentially turn this card into the most valuable cash, cash back card in the market for that catch all category. So in typical fashion, we will learn more about Fidelity. We'll talk about the card structure, earnings, rewards, and redemptions. Of course, the card itself, and then I'll tell you about that program and how you may be able to make this, you know, the best catch-all card in your arsenal. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, first things first, let's bat lead off with our typical did you know slide and learn a little bit more about Fidelity. So here you have it, did you know. Um, Fidelity, founded in 1946, is Fidelity Management and Research, um, currently headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts. They do have regional offices and investor centers around the country and the globe for that matter. Now, some interesting stats about Fidelity. They have about 40 million individual investors, about 2.4 million average daily trades go through them, and at the time of taping, at least 4.2 trillion assets under management, which is a huge number to say the least. Now, again, a lot of you may be more familiar with Fidelity from the wealth management side of things. You know, they, they do a lot of partnerships with uh, corporations and employers to manage the retirement um, accounts for a lot of employees. At the time of taping, again, where I'm currently employed at, we actually use Fidelity to manage our retirement. So that's where my 401k is at with them. You know, so overall, I haven't had any problems or anything like that. But, you know, you're really here for the credit card. So let's transition now, talk about the earnings and reward structure for this credit card than the card itself. So here you have it, earnings and rewards. Now, again, Fidelity is going to have one credit card, and this is going to be ran by the rewards program. It's going to be ran by our old buddy, Alon Financial Services. I'll touch on them in a second. The card is going to earn cash back. There'll be a $25 minimum to redeem that cash back, unfortunately. Now, your redemptions here are going to be select Fidelity accounts. Let's talk about those two, statement credit, travel, merchandise, and gift cards. Now, really quick here about Elan, in case you're unfamiliar, I'll link to a full video about Elan Financial Services down below. But Elan Financial Services is a company that comes in and companies like banks, credit unions, especially on the smaller side, use them to outsource their credit card reward structure too. So Elan will offer services like underwriting, customer service, managing the rewards, pool, that whole thing. It's not uncommon. It's not a bad thing. It's just a thing to be aware of. Um, so they're partnering here with Elan. And we've seen them a lot before in other, other companies as well. So again, full link down below there. Now let's move on to the card itself and talk about those eligible accounts. So here you have it, the Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature Card. It is a no annual fee card. The multipliers here are going to be a classic 2x on all purchases. Now there are some benefits here. So there are the Visa Signature benefits that you would get with a normal Visa card. And then there are some level of travel insurances. I mean, they do have some baggage delay protections in there. But again, I mean, if you're looking for that, I would probably look elsewhere. I mean, the thing here to focus on is that 2% back on all purchases. Now, overall, classic 2% card, not that bad. But there's something you need to know about the 2% first before we move on. And so if you go back to the redemptions, one of the redemptions we listed was into a Fidelity account or a select eligible Fidelity account. That's the primary way you're going to want to use these points that you earn. And that's because if you, even on Fidelity site, their, um, their FAQ, which I can link to down below, um, it's pretty good actually. If you transfer out your points to a select Fidelity account, eligible Fidelity account, that's the way you get your 2x back in full if you cash out for you know merchandise or gift cards it's not guaranteed to be 2x in most cases especially going through programs like Elon you know the the cash out rate is the is the right rate and then anything less than that for redemptions is usually off by a little bit now how much I don't really know I don't have this card so I can't get around there and look at it but again, if you're really considering this card, you're probably already working with Fidelity in some capacity. Anyways, so what are these eligible accounts? So eligible Fidelity accounts, again, most non-retirement registrations, as they put it, traditional IRA, Roth IRA, rollover IRA, your SEP IRA, um, the Fidelity Charitable Giving Account, Fidelity HSA, and our Fidelity Managed 529 College Savings Plan accounts. All of those accounts will technically be eligible for you to go ahead and redeem those points from this card into that account, and then you would end up getting, you know, uh, the 2% back, which is interesting because the first use case you have, you know, 
I think the the cap for being able to redeem into like an IRA, the, the amount you can put into a personal individual IRA is like six thousand dollars or something like that a year. So you know you could use this card to help offset that, and it could be part of your yearly contribution for those of you trying to max it out. Um, but again, you know two percent not that bad. So if you're watching this though, and you're kind of like, well, yawn, I've seen two percent cards all over the place, City Double Cash, uh, Wells Fargo Active Cash, things like that. You know, you'd be correct, but it does get a little bit more interesting, potentially, like I said in the beginning of the show, if you bring in a program that they have, that Fidelity has, where it basically is, if you're familiar with Bank of, Amor- Bank of America Preferred Rewards, it's basically the same thing. So let's take a look at this program and why it might interest you. So the program we're talking about is Fidelity Rewards Plus. Now, rewards program, it's based on total assets with Fidelity, though it does have to be in some of their managed product accounts, so portfolio advisory service accounts or separately managed accounts that are part of a Fidelity strategic disciplines path. Those are going to count. It's not everything under Fidelity, unfortunately. And so there are three tiers here broken up by how much capital you have. The gold tier starts at 250K up to a million. Platinum goes from 1 million to 2 million and Platinum Plus goes to 2 million and beyond. Now, what exactly are the benefits? Why would you leave this much money with Fidelity? Now, assuming, of course, you like Fidelity, you know, you're happy with the results you're getting because these are managed accounts we're talking about. Uh, I'll give you the full benefits and I'll leave this slide on screen for a while, but exclusive access to inspiring voices, event series, more cash back that's the one we're obviously going to focus on you also get wave minimum investments three layers of advanced identity protection and free options trading anywhere from 100 trades to unlimited depending on you know where you slot in in the tiers now again the one we're going to be most interested in is for this video is the more cash back so you can see here if you're looking at it um, you've got the gold which is going to give you 2.25 percent um, platinum two and a half percent and platinum plus is going to give you three percent back and that right there is how you turn this card potentially into the best catch-all card they even highlight it on their table you can see there in the third column highest cashback rate for everyday purchases and to my knowledge technically at the time of taping that is correct three percent back on everything is the best which you would kind of hope if you're giving them two million dollars to get three percent so overall, you know, to sum this card up here, number one, this card is going to be for someone who already has has assets with Fidelity in a managed account. If you like their managed products, you're happy with their services, then yeah, you might definitely want to look at this. You know, if not, I think that Bank of America's um, preferred rewards actually requires a lot less capital. I think um, you can do platinum honors at a hundred thousand, and that's going to make their best catch-all card 2.62 percent, which is not that far off from three percent. I mean, when we get this close, I mean, really, it's kind of like splitting hairs. Honestly, and you're talking about a hundred thousand dollar commitment um, in Merrill Lynch and other accounts with them versus two million dollars. So I think that's one of the weaknesses. I think they're requiring a little bit too much money. Um, compared to someone like Bank of America, who is the second biggest bank in the country, by the way. So, you know, definitely competitive. But again, they, they're kind of focused on different things. Now, overall, even if you're talking about the base car, 2% is not bad. It definitely beats out the Charles Schwab Amex car that has 1.5x back. Um, so, you know, I would say if you're going to get this card as a catch-all card, it's really going to be dependent on do you want to try to top off one of your Fidelity accounts. Again, if you're trying to do your full 6000 or whatever it is contribution to your, your personal retirement account, you know, then this could definitely help offset some of that, um, especially if you can get to the two and a quarter, two and a half percent If you're someone who's not going to do that and just looking for a catch-all card then city double cash wells fargo active cash and in fact even if in all honesty even if you get, did get to the two million plus and you had the three percent um, then this is your best catch-all card but i would still supplement with other credit cards that are going to give you five percent five percent is so easy to earn these days I and mean, then you could cash out those points and then you know dump them into your account as well but this would definitely be your best catch-all card so overall you know not a bad offering by fidelity again they beat out schwab but you know i think for most of us if you're going down this route bank of america is probably a little bit better and much easier to hit capital wise i'm um, if you're already with fidelity i mean i don't think it's a bad option at all so anyways guys if you like this one drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting then consider subscribing to the channel again posting content just like this every monday wednesday and friday and of course right back here every sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance my question for you guys is especially fidelity users out there let me know what you think about the fidelity visa card is this something that you use how do you use it 
Are you trying to top off your accounts or are you in the Rewards Plus program? And what has been your thoughts overall about this service as a whole? Maybe not just the credit card alone. I love to hear your thoughts on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.